For a week now, a Dallas pastor has made national news. The Reverend Jesse Jackson chose Frederick Haynes to succeed him at the Rainbow Push Coalition. But what you have not heard is the backstory on how all this happened, how Haynes was hesitant to take on this big role at first. We spoke to Reverend Haynes on a recent trip to Washington, D.C. Reverend Haynes, congratulations, first of all. Can you tell us how all this unfolded last Sunday? Did, did, did Reverend Jackson give you a phone call ahead of time? And if so, what did he say to you? Well, we've been in conversation, honestly, for four or five years. Uh, he first approached me about this uh, during the NAACP convention in 2019. I was speaking there, and he asked me would I uh, consider it. And so we have had conversations off and on since then and then, in April of this year, uh, he was really putting the pressure on. So uh, we've been uh, at this for a while. You say putting the pressure on, were you hesitant at all early on? Well, I mean, first of all, Jesse Jackson is iconic. He's a living legend. He has done uh, phenomenal work that has literally changed the world. And so given that, uh, one would be uh, less than sane to not feel some hesitancy. And so without question, uh, I did have my uh, reservations, uh, even though at the same time, I've been a long time fan, even student of his, and have often worked with him and have been blessed by his tutelage. And so uh, a part of me was, okay, this is Jesse Jackson. And then the other part of me was, oh, this is Jesse Jackson. And so, uh, it was, you know, kind of easy to say yes. I, I don't have to tell you what a tremendous honor this is, but but why do you think that he chose you out of all the people he knows? I'm still trying to figure that out. Uh, he's told me a few things, and so I'm still waiting for him to tell me some more. Uh, because again, as you said, he knows so many people. He has worked with so many people. And I am just honored uh, and humbled uh, that he felt that I could you know, help to lead the organization and, you know, walk uh, in the legacy that he has established while standing on his, you know, very strong shoulders. The, the Rainbow Push Coalition is going to be remain based in Chicago. You, of course, are the senior pastor at Friendship West Baptist Church in, in Dallas County. How are you going to manage this? Are you going to appear less at, uh, at church in Dallas or, or what's the plan? No, oh, I can't, can't, can't do that. Uh, one of the things that happened in our negotiations, Reverend Jackson was insistent uh, that I stay at the church because in his words, the church is a base of operation for all the rainbow push has always done. So why would I leave uh, the base? As a matter of fact, I think one of the reasons that, you know, he said that he was, you know, tapping me to do this was because I was doing this kind of work without the rainbow push flat push platform. Mm. And so Friendship West, aware of that, uh, has basically celebrated uh, this open door uh, for a new and larger opportunity uh, to have a larger platform in order to address injustices and build a nation characterized by justice, because that's what we've been doing uh, ourselves for quite some time. Reverend Haynes, congratulations to you. Thank you for the time.